We're gonna we're gonna finish our notes today. All right, on our bell ringer. Trevor, read it out loud for me. Find the edge of angle two if the arrows indicate that the lines are parallel. Yes. All right. So what are we trying to find? Angle two. Angle two. Angle two. All right. Who chose A? Who chose answer A? Anybody? I just got them right. Maybe that's not right. Who chose angle B? All right. I see a lot of hands. All right. Here, why did you choose B? Because I added 60, 120, and 120, and then I subtracted that. Okay, say, say the three angles you added again. 60, um, 120, I think it's 110. Yes. Right. Okay. And how did you add the 110 in? Because it's over there, and it's uh, the line for the word slip. Okay. Anybody else have another reason why they chose B? No. All right, what about C? Anybody chose C? Oh, All right. What about B? I ain't done um, yet. Hold you on. add the 110 to it because 1 and 110 are vertical, which means they're equal. Exactly. Exactly. Angle 1 and angle with the measure 110 are vertical angles. So, therefore, angle 1 is also 110 because we know vertical angles are equal. So, I'm going to come back here on my whiteboard and show you 110 is equal to the, or angle one is equal to 110 right. because we know they're equal because they're vertical angles. Then right. we know that the four interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to be what? 360 degrees. So then to find the missing angle and what we're finding angle two, we're going to add the three that we know and then subtract that from 360 to find the missing. All right, so when I add those three together, I do get 290. And when I subtract that from 360, I get 70. Okay? Does everybody agree? Yes. Do y'all have any questions? No questions? You are smart. All right, so today, the last day before the test, we are going to work the last examples that we have for this objective. And I've got a worksheet for you. And we're going to work a few together, and I'm going to show you a few. And if we have time, we'll have um, you to do some by yourself. We can get in group. We can get in group. We can get group, group work. We're going to do a lot of group work next week. Oh, we always miss with you. Tell me pairs of 
Don't answer out loud. Name me another pair of vertical angles. Jacob. Four and six. Four and six. Trevor. Sixteen. Sixteen and two. Roll Twelve and thirteen. Twelve and thirteen. Jade. Fourteen and eleven. Jasmine. Eight and ten. Eight and ten. Nikki. Seven and nine. Seven and nine. And there are more. We get. We know what the vertical angles are. We get them. We get that. What's the significant part about their relationship? They're equal. They're always equal. Very good. Now. What about one and two? What's their relationship? Adjacent. Adjacent. What else, Kiara? One and two. What else? We know they're adjacent because they're side by side. What's their other relationship? They have one more. Starts with an S. Supplementary. Because they make this straight line, that means those two angles are going to add together to equal what? 180. 180. Thank you. Now. What is 1 and 16? Same What's their thing. relationship? Same thing. Same thing. They're adjacent and they are going to add together to be 180 because they make that straight line. So they're also supplementary. Now don't write this down. This is just going to be a short, quick example. Just look. If 1 is 80 degrees, what is 15? Everybody. 80, 80 degrees. degrees. Okay. Very good. What is 14? 80, 80 degrees. 80 degrees. What is 11? 80, 80 degrees. Because these are all equal. They're vertical to each other. One and fourteen are what? What's their relationship? Eight and green. Vertical. Vertical. Okay, wait, time out. One and fourteen, Trevor. Corresponding. Corresponding. Okay. Fifteen and eleven. Corresponding. Okay, so there's different reasons why they're equal. Alright? Now, because one and two, we said just a minute ago, are supplementary. They're going to add to be 180, so how do I find two? Mine is kept from 180. Subtract it from 180. So 180 minus 80 is 100. 100. So 16 is what? 100. So 12 is 100. 100. 13 is 100. Now, what has to be true for angles to have the relationship of supplementary? You've got to equal 180 to an angle. Two angles have to add together to equal 180. Do they have to be adjacent, Terry? No, they do not. So, what is the relationship of 16 and 14?
starts with a C? Corresponding. Corresponding. That means they're in the same position at each intersection. They're both to the upper left of that intersection. Right. All right. So, are corresponding angles equal, Jacob? What does our relationship tell us about corresponding angles? Oh, they're the same. They will be equal. They will be equal. So, to find out the actual measure of one and of angle one and angle three, we're going to have to solve for something because we don't know something in that problem. What do we not know? X. 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 All right. So we're going to use what we know about angle relationships to solve for X. Then when we get the X, we have to plug it back in, right? We did this for shapes. It's the same thing for angles. Okay, it's the same. We did the same process for angles. Because we know that angle 1 and angle 3 are equal because they're corresponding, we can set their expressions equal and then solve the equation. So take the expression for 1, which is 2X plus 1, then one is equal. It's going to be equal to angle 3, the expression. Okay? Now, I know that some of you write a little bigger, so if you don't have enough room on your paper, on the paper that I gave you, write on that book paper, but I want you to write the examples down so you can see how to do it. We don't have to turn it in, do we? No, we don't. All right, so do we, does everybody see why we set them equal to each other? Jasmine? Do you understand why we equal? Because the angles equal each other. So we set their expressions equal to each other. So you don't have to turn your whole body around. Thank you. Now, we set them equal to each other because we know the angles are equal. Now we're going to solve the equation. What has to happen? What's our goal when we're solving the equation? Oh, no. They do. And then what's the final thing that has to happen? Solve the equation. We have to find out that x is equal, and x has to be by itself. So we have to get the x's all on one side of the equal sign. All right. We did this before. We just did it with shapes. Now we're doing it with the angle. Okay. So Or the angles of the shapes. Now we're doing it with just the angles from the parallel line. All right. So this, what we want to do is start with the smallest x, Take it away from the side it's on and put it with the other side to get it on the same side. Right? And how do we get rid of something on one side of an equal sign? Inverse, Inverse operation. Inverse operation. Very good. So I'm going to put my dotted line down my equal sign because I like to see them separate. I like to keep my equal signs lined up. So I'm going to take this X because it's the smallest. And if I do the inverse operation, what am I going to do? Chance? What kind of X is this? Is it positive or negative? It's positive. It's positive, so how am I going to get rid of it? The what's the opposite of a positive number? Negative. A negative, so okay, I can subtract it. Yeah. I can subtract it. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to subtract X from this side of the equal sign. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I've got to do to the other. Okay? So my X is over here, cancel. I'm going to go ahead and write my equal sign down here. I'm going to do 55 on this side. And then I'm going to perform the operation over here with the like terms. That's why I write it under the 2x because they're like terms. So 2x minus x is what? X. X. Because it's an understood one to be in front. And if it's 2 minus 1, that equals 1. And I don't have to put a 1 in front of an x because it's understood to be there. Okay? So x. And then bring down your plus 1. And now this is just like an equation we've solved a thousand times. So we do the opposite operation again. Minus 1, the same thing to both sides. Minus 1, I'm left with x over here is equal to 55 minus 1. 54. It's 54. Okay. Um, me. Avery, can you tell me what I do next? Oh um, you put 54 in the x place. Okay. We're going to plug in what we know for x in each equation to, make, to see what the actual measurement is of that angle. So take 54 and plug it into the equation given to us in the problem. So 2 times 54 plus 1. And I believe that equals 109. Yes, it does. Alright. Right. Now, because I know that angle 1 and angle 3 are supposed to equal, right? Because we did that in the beginning, I need to plug this into.
the other equation to make sure. You don't have to. But you don't have to to make sure that they equal both. Yeah. Okay? So let's plug it in. Um, what goes here? The 54 plus 55. And 54 plus 55 is 109. So they do equal. Is everybody okay with that? Let me see if you can do number two on your own. Let me see. The only thing you have to do different is what, Jacob? You just said distributive You have to do distributive property before you can put the x on the same side. So try it on your own. Try it on your own. See how over here we go get the x is on the same side. Okay? So take start with the smallest x and move it over here. Do the same thing about that. Just like here we have if you took this x away from this side, you go the same thing to that side. Explain it as you go, Rowan. All right. Yes. Yes. Exactly right. Good. Dude. <coughs> yeah. 
get out of my face. Well, let me get it off. Well, when I put it in my mouth. Look, what, hush?
that's your calculator. You get 54 plus 12 is 66, 66 times 2 is 132. 132. of the angles that we have. We have angle 6, they tell us, is 3x plus 20, and they have angle 10, which is 4x minus 50. We talked about their type of angle relationship at the beginning of class. What is the relationship of angle 6 and 10, Adriana? A vertical have to be straight across from each other. Remember, we talked about at the very beginning of the class what their relationship is.
108. Nope. Mr. Rowland, do you agree? Nope, I got 108. Don't lie. Got 108. Well, the no was an incorrect answer. I, I didn't. Thank you. 